All right, guys, welcome back to Jimmy's Kitchen. Today, got one of my favorite people on this planet, fellow Cantonese American <laughs> chef. Can I call myself a chef as well? Hell yeah, I'm calling you chef. This is the you real the chef. Today. Chef Melissa King, of course, the winner <laughs> of Top Chef and many, many more things. Hey, Melissa, welcome. What's up? Jimmy's Kitchen. I love it. This is great. What are we making today? Uh, I'm going to show you how to make peidan tofu, so a tofu with thousand-year-old duck eggs wow. and some chili sauce. This is going to be We're going great. full canto here. Full canto peidan means thousand-year-old egg, and tofu, of course, is tofu, tofu. you know, and this... Latsu yao. I have so much beef with Americans oh. when it comes to peidan, the thousand-year-old egg. First oh, all, it's very it, controversial. They call it thousand-year-old egg as if it's like something weird and old, but really, it's just preserved duck eggs that we eat every day. They're delicious. I love them, but they are very polarizing to certain groups of people. Which is ridiculous to me. <laughs> I remember like I, I used to watch Fear Factor uh, when I was oh in high gosh, school. Yeah. And the second challenge, they always have people eat roaches, bugs, spiders, and they got people eating thousand euro eggs. And I'm like, I'd eat that. I would win the We challenge. just ate that for lunch. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> that is nasty. Tell me, how was your experience on Top Chef? You were on it twice. I was. I don't recommend that. That's very stressful. Right? <laughs> it's extremely stressful competing. Uh, once was enough. It took years off of my life, and I was crazy enough to go back for All Stars. But it was great. And you I mean, won yeah. All Stars. I did. So really, yeah. they should send you an apology. Because <laughs> if you won All Stars, that means you're the best of the best. I guess. <laughs> Exactly. You Beautiful. gotta be quick with it. Okay. Oh, this is actually has a good it's, good firmness for silken tofu. And uh, I was looking at that. Yeah. Okay. So because it's, it's that's Korean it, right? Tofu. Is this or, Korean or, tofu? Yeah, this is Korean. <laughs> Korean <laughs> no. is firmer. I don't know. I just saw the package was Korean, and I was the, like, we should buy Chinese tofu. That first two pieces. Chinese dish. Might be too thick. Yeah, this is Will's fault. Yeah, that works. Will uh, consistently Ooh. buys the wrong ingredient. You know, one time I told him to Damn buy cabbage, well. and he brought iceberg lettuce. I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> Kids these days, they don't even know what vegetables are. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at that. You're like a card dealer in Vegas. Exactly. You know, the... <laughs> well, should I try to spread so, that out a little more? Yeah, I guess so. Is that the only one? We're... Yeah, we're doing one. Oh, so... boy. Oh, silken. So we... I broke it a little bit. That's okay. Oh, good. Spread it out a little. We're going to put the eggs around it and then all the toppings from the chili sauce, the oyster sauce, and my favorite. I love that you bought the biggest <laughs> jar. Of uh, yoksong. Yoksong. So pork floss. I don't know why it's called. Floss, How did it make? It's literally meat, it's but the texture, it's like. How would you describe it? It's dry, completely dry. It's dehydrated. Dehydrated pork. And it's I. It's not crunchy. I mean, it's dehydrated pork, yeah. And it's not crunchy. It's kind of. It has a lot of umami. Very salty. It probably has a ton of MSG in it, but it's amazing. You can put that on everything. I put that on everything. So now, uh, let's go through the eggs. Let's uh, crack one of these open, show people what's inside. Why don't you do it first? So it's kind of like a hard boiled egg, even though it's not cooked, it's preserved. But it's already ready to eat. But it's ready to go. Let's see, we'll throw it in there. This is what's gonna... Oh my God, it's moving! Ah! No, see, see, that's, <laughs> that's called xenophobia. You know, this is actually, a great dish. Why even call it a delicacy? I hate when people I'm say, oh, it's a Chinese that, delicacy. Yeah. No, no, no. It's just what people it's just eat. It's good. Right? Yeah. It's almost translucent in color. I very think they're amber. beautiful. They're yeah. kind of crystallized. Um, and the middle is often like a yolky greenish color. And that's from the sulfur. It's not rotten yeah. or anything like that. Look at that. Yeah, check that out. Look at how beautiful that is. It's like it glass. Translucent. And has these tiny little crystals inside. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And then when you cut it open, go, I chef. always, you should cut it open for them. Yeah, cut it right this in way? half. All right, yep. You got this, Ari? Yes, sir. Oh, oh, wow, nice. look at yeah, that. That's it's a, a good little one. yolky. I love when it's yolky like that. In the middle. If it's not, it's probably over fermented or over preserved. It smells like a little like sulfur. And I would say. It's like cheese. Yeah, I don't yeah. recommend Chinese eating juice. it just by itself. <laughs> Usually just a little bit of soy sauce and sesame oil goes a long way. Absolutely. It's a little hardcore to go all in. Mm -hmm. You can give it a go if you want. But Very nice. I think this is this dish is a nice way to just kind of get an introduction <sighs> to peidan. And I've eaten this so many times, never so made good. it. 
Oh, cooked it. Well, I'm I mean, glad I we guess get you to do that. It. Yeah, I mean, we're not really cooking. He's yeah, we're just okay, chef. And then, chops and then how do I cut <laughs> this way? So yeah, you can cut them um, either into strips or cut them in half, quarter them, quarters, dice them. Ah, oh, see, this is how I remember it. You drizzle yeah, there we a go. little bit of sesame oil, soy sauce. You already got yourself a dish. Yeah, I'll peel a few few more of these. And for now you. we put it like and one tofu, one lay one egg. beautifully on top. That is. It's a, a total homey dish, really rustic. Mm. I feel like every Chinese kid grew up on this dish. Um, Melissa, I saw that on your Wikipedia that you went to UCSB in Santa Barbara. I did for two years. And then you transferred to UC Irvine as if it's just like, hey, you know what? UCSB is not Asian enough for me. Let me, <laughs> let me, let me drive two hours and go to UC I go Irvine. Like the instead. most Asian college in Southern California. Yeah. What, like you really had to just get out of UCSB you didn't like it? Honestly, to be honest, I was trying to get into UCLA and then I got rejected like three times. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Me too. What's next? Let's drizzle some of this. Some oyster sauce. Oh, that's like the secret sauce here. Lei gumke oyster sauce. Lei you gumke. put that on a little bit oh, of boil. Yeah. Boiled vegetables? You got yourself a dish. I put and, that out of everything. <laughs> and, and you always got to get the one with the boat. Yep. It's like a ketchup bottle. Yeah, you always you gotta, gotta like, tap, tap the, the, old la the lady on the bottle. Yeah, yeah instead of the 88 tap the lady on the hinds. On the bottle right there. Yeah. That is right a beaut. So, yeah, it's, it's up to you how much you want to do. I like that. I like, I like that because like, we got yeah. all the sauces coming there we too. Go. Okay. You got to do that. And I heard you're a level one psalm, Somali. Eh? So you do it like a wine bottle. I saw you. We got to instant that? replay it's like that. A reflex. <laughs> What what kind of wine pairs well with Chinese food? I, I never know the answer. It's so Chinese food can be spicy. Um, I think it really depends. But if you're going spicy, maybe like a dry Riesling or Rosé, something oh. that's lighter, but kind of refreshing. I love this. This is that's <laughs> why she, all up. <laughs> that's why she's my favorite person. She speaks Cantonese, she knows Chinese food and she's a Somalia. All right, let's see here. Are we doing this now? Uh, the let's see here. Let's know. Next, let's okay. see the sauce. We gotta okay. talk about the sauce, though. We gotta talk about the sauce here. This is the secret chef king sauce. She oh. bottled it herself for me. And That's that, for you. I, thank you. That's the friends and family, like, home batch. This is, like, the special batch just Ooh. for friends. That's for you. Can I smell it? Yeah, yeah. It's got the gold lid. Oh. It's my oh. last name's Gum. Gum? Oh, king. Which like gold. So it's like Kim, gum. basically. It's like right? Kim, yeah. Oh, wow. So your name could have been Kim. It could have been Kim. I like King. If better. I were Korean, it would have been. Kim. This is so fragrant. I just made that yesterday. So, so. that's got to be organic. <laughs> and, and it's just, you know, because I love Lao Kama, don't get me wrong. A little artificial. You know what I mean? And then there's a lot of other fancy brands out there to put too much oil and other stuff. Look at this. this yeah, you, like gotta, you gotta get in there with fresh all Fresh garlic chips, man. Come on, step aside, Lao Kama. Look at that, baby. <laughs> wow. Fermented black beans, Szechuan chili peppers, uh, star anise, clove, cinnamon, this garlic. Is so we just pour it on top. So we're gonna heat it up actually because we're gonna, you know, like did, oh, your, okay. mom, did your mom do that when you were a kid? I like where you like heat, heat, up, heat, heat up oil and you like pour sauce. it on top of things on fish. Yeah. They always heat up oil on the fish and then you pour it. That's kind of what we're gonna okay. do here. Let's do that. So we'll put that in the pan with some soy sauce. It heats up super quick. Okay, so how but much do we? But that's gonna be kind of the last thing we throw. Okay, so you on. put, Let's put it on in low. the pan first. Oh, okay. Yeah, you, we'll oh, okay. Yeah, put that Sauce. in the pan. Sauce. Oh, how much? Maybe is like that two enough? spoons, two big spoons. Love that. Yeah, I mean, and come then we'll on. put some sesame oil in there, just mm. to bump it up a little more. And then meanwhile, you gotta chop up all those greens too. We gotta put the greens on top. So there's okay. scallions and cilantro. And just slice them up. I actually, I like to slice the stems too. There's a lot of flavor right. in the stems. Don't throw yeah, those yeah. away. Yeah, it's yeah. It's the good stuff. How is it small like that small? Yeah, sure. That looks great. Curl the fingers. <laughs> I know. I got it. I got it, Chef. I got it, Chef. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I love also, that like, action. Do a little rocking motion with the knife. Yeah, your knife is like curved for a reason, oh, so you can like. Chop. There we go. Oh, yeah, wow. he's got it. He's got it. Wait, wait, wait! This is blocking the camera here. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I do the rocking I motion. Gotta rock it. Got to rock, rock it. it. There we go. Rock it. Why are you walking? All right. Do I sprinkle that on? So yeah, sprinkle that all, all on top. All of this. Yep. 
Oh, I like a lot of yeah, cilantro, I like cilantro and scallions. But we're going to add scallions. Let's a couple of these. Let's chop up the roots. And then sometimes I keep the roots and then stick in water. Look at this. And they grow. Look at this. It's the best COVID hack. <laughs> I got my own little uh, scallion slash green onion batch going. But I would say this is not as fresh. You see how like the dark green here? Maybe yeah. just not getting enough You can enough only sun. get a couple runs of, of yeah. that. Yeah. But it's a fun trick though. You just put them in there like that. Chop this thin, smoke. Yeah, I, I like, like to how... chop the white parts too. The whites and the green have mm. just a lot of flavor. All right, so uh, I just want to confirm this. Yeah. Um, so real chefs, y'all chop this, right? We you don't do. cut it with scissors. Uh, oh, that's so Chinese. <laughs> Fresh. Yeah, throw That's... that on top. I'm heating up your sauce right now. Yes, that looks great. And this is gonna be kind of the last thing you do and then we're gonna put the pork floss on top. Yeah. That hot oil is gonna cook all the greens on top. And so oh. it's, flash, it's like flash frying. You're kind of frying things whoa, backwards. Whoa, whoa, okay, wait a minute. Go. Okay. All right, so you see this, Ari? This. You see that? You ready? A little bubbling. That's the move. Oh, you hear a little bit of sizzle? That's the move. Dang, come on now. Come on, chef. That is a beaut. <laughs> okay, then final, final oh touches. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. Help me with that. We got to open this up. Well, here it is. This is what the knife is for. Oh. Sorry, chef. That actually scared you. I got this. <laughs> okay, you all right. Just, yeah, I'm going to go in there. Yeah. So, chefs do. We'll use our hands and we'll just so, do a little sprinkle. A little crunchy. You hear that? We we'll always have an ASMR section. Oh, in really? Let me try That's how it's done. We did it. There's the <laughs> peitan tofu. Good job. This is so good on rice, too. Did you make oh, the rice? Uh, I will later. I have not made forgot rice. forgot to make the rice. Scallion, oil, <laughs> and a thousand year old egg in there. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> wow. It's so easy, right? It's so good. And so many layers <clears throat> of flavor. It just keeps hitting it. Because at first you taste the chili oil and the yolk. So I like it with the chili oil. The umami, the garlic from the oil. Mm -hmm. A little bit spicy, but it's not too spicy. It doesn't overwhelm the dish. And then the tofu serves as great texture in a vehicle. Yeah. And the egg. The yolkiness and a little sulfur taste of the eggs, somehow it just mixes so well with soy sauce and everything else. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh my lord. That's my favorite childhood dish. And the cilantro kicks in really nice. It's just a mm -hmm. fragrant that binds everything together. Go for it. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> it's really cold dish, but it's, it warms your heart, but it's just that little heating up on the chili oil. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that Amazing. Chili on your face right there. <laughs> wow guys thank you chef melissa king for coming by you guys can get her king sauce the official one not uh with probably a cooler it's got a cooler label yeah this oh is like well, we could argue that. Well, that i mean this is this kind is of cool cooler. too you this know i wrote that <laughs> but you can get the official king sauce on chef melissa king Dot com and she's also doing virtual cooking classes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we have like mapa tofu classes and kung pao chicken, all these different things. Yeah. Dumplings. Oh. So whatever you want to learn, we got kanji classes. Ooh. And these are options. live? Uh, they're live, but they're also uh, pre-recorded as well. So this is just a little free taste to get you hooked. <laughs> the first first hit's always free. Chef Melissa King with the pei dan tofu. <laughs>